Good Saturday morning, everybody. It is beautiful out. I really hope you guys have been staying safe. And in this video, I'm showing my golfing side for the first time in four years. If you can recall, four years ago, I made a, my first edition of What's in the Bag. Now, the clubs are completely different other than the wedges. And so, but in this video, I am gladly going to show you what's in my bag for 2020. Let's start with the putter. Got to start there before you get to the big boys. So this is a Adele putter. This is a Columbia model. It's got four degrees of loft. I got fitted for this putter three years ago at a golf fitting facility back in Minnesota. And it's got my initials on the left side and Adele logo on the right. And at first, I wasn't really, I didn't really care for this putter. It's because it just felt different. But I feel that once I got the hang of this putter, I love the feel and it will certainly be in my bag for a very long time. Old school pin grip, gotta have that, very important. So this is 35 inches long and the head weight is 325 grams. The weight is good enough for me to make proper strokes in the putting without it being too light or too heavy for me to lose control. I think the weight is just right for me. Okay, next up, which also happened to be my favorite wedges, those good old Nike edges back when Nike actually made clubs by the time that I purchased them. And so I have the 60, 56, and the 52, but they're all different models. The 60 degree is a dual so model. This 56 degree model is a toe sweep model. And this 52 degree is simply a square model. And let me take this club out for you to take a closer look at it. When I got fitted for these, the shaft was extended by a quarter of an inch and the lie angle was adjusted by half of a degree. This has a new decade multi-compound grip with a True Temper Dynamic Gold S300 shaft. I swing extra stiffs now, but I haven't really bothered to change the shafts and my wedges. But in all honesty, I feel that it can be a quarter of an inch longer still to be extended by half an inch, which all my irons are without having its lie angle or loft adjusted. And those, are my lovely Cerixens Z765. These are by far one of my favorite irons besides the Mizuno MP64s that I had before. Just like the wedges, new decade multi-compound with a Project X LZ shaft in it. And they are pured and it is at a 6.5 flex, which is the extra stiff. I got fitted for these three years ago and the only thing they did was to extend the shaft length by half an inch. And that's because the club's lie angle was already proper for my swing, so they didn't need to change that, nor the loft. The loft was also perfect, so the fitting facility locally here decided to do half an inch extension of the shafts. And so far, these are the irons I've been hitting the most consistent with. The MP64s felt better, but these clubs just suit my game better. And I just love the way they perform. I love the way they feel. And to me, they, it's a very underrated brand. I love it. Then they're all forged as well. I, so I went from pitching wedge to four iron, but not three iron. And that's because my hybrid is a very, I would say this would be a strong three iron considering the degree of loft, which is 20 degrees. A Nike Vaporfly, 20 degrees of loft, just like I previously said. Oh, I just love the look of this club and I just love the way it performs. Same grip as the other ones. This has a Mitsubishi Diamata shaft. S plus 80 grams hybrid shaft, extra stiff. I didn't think I had the ability to swing extra stiff shafts until maybe two years ago. And ever since then, I just fell in love with extra stiff shafts since my swing speed has increased. And I do have a little bit of aggressive tempo, maybe not from the backswing, but on the downswing, I have a pretty aggressive transition. So it's really important for me to have a more stable shaft with the proper flex that would work very well for me for that. And now, the granddaddies of all, the Srixen 3 wood and the Srixen driver, brand new. Let me take this lovely head cover off for you to take a closer look at the Srixen ZF85, 15 degrees of loft. Oh man, I just love the look of this thing. It's not only the looks that really got me into this club though. The feel at impact is 
absolutely superb. So this was also custom ordered as well as, as the driver with a Project X Hazardous Yellow, which is a more counterbalanced edition of the Hazardous line. And this has, believe it or not, a stiff flex, but it's 76 grams. I wanted to see how the 6.0 flex would do with such the weight. Um, I didn't know how I was gonna be able to handle an extra stiff shaft for this one, but it seems like I will be able to swing an extra stiff shaft considering my swing speed. So I will be taking care of that soon. But for now, this club definitely serves its purpose. Now beforehand, I actually had a TaylorMade M3 that I bought used from eBay, but I absolutely hated the way that that club felt. So I almost immediately sold it because I just did not like it. The feel was off. I was not hitting it very well. And I just, my overall confidence of the club was just so low that I didn't see a point in keeping it. And this Cerexon or Cerexon, whichever, it's, it's gonna be in my bag for such a long time. And I know now that having a three wood, it is an absolute must. And not just that, but to finally have a three wood that actually works for me, I can't wait to see how many strokes it would shave off my game. And now, the most important, well, I mean, besides the putter, the most important club of the bag, off the tee, this lovely Cerexon Z785. This driver just feels absolutely great at impact as well. Um, it is so solid, knock on wood. This is perfect. 9.5 degrees of loft, standard loft. I almost never change the adjustments on these because I feel that working on my swing is more important than just trying to adjust this driver. This has also a Project X hazardous yellow on. It's not the smoke, it's just a regular yellow hazardous. And this is 63 grams, extra stiff flex, six point, which is a 6.5. And so this shaft is just absolutely perfect for me. I just love the way it performs and I just love the feel of the shaft. I mean, I, hands down, this is my all time favorite shaft that I've ever used. And I've gone through multiple shafts. After going through the Aldilla NV and VS, VS Prototype, Graphoi Pro Launch Red, U.S. Team Amaya Pro Force V2, Pro Force VTS, U.S. Team Amaya Actis T2, and the blue Project X shaft 6.0 flex. This Project X hazardous yellow shaft, non-smoke edition, all-time favorite shaft, hands down. Now, for some of you that are using this club, if you are, notice how the club head tends to be light in your swing. And so, and that was the case for me. So on the Srixen website, I did order a heavier weight here, which is 12 grams. The original weight is eight grams. So there's a four gram difference, but I tested it out at the range once that was installed and it feels better. I just love the heavier weight because it allows me to control the club better. Just have a little look around at this club. Just absolutely classy and elegant. So that concludes the video and my edition of what's in the bag for 2020. I'm very excited to play a lot more rounds with these clubs and see how they're gonna further perform. And so, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you guys next time. God bless and thanks for watching.